created my safe and um, I think I did a great uh, choice on this particular safe here. Um, I went for the uh, sentry safe, the uh, home defense center, that's what they call it. Um, this safe in particular is a corner safe and um, I'm going to show you guys more in detail later on um, why I think it's a great setup. Um, the reason I went with this safe and to you at first it may look pretty small and it's, it's fairly small, it's, it's tall but small. Um, the reason I went with this setup is because I live in a condo and people that live in condos or apartments usually don't have they don't have the space to really accommodate one of those larger safes so um, if space is an issue then uh, I think this is a great option okay the reason the reason I the safe is standing the way it is right now because this is actually a corner safe it's meant to be sitting in the corner and um, which later on it will be of course and um, once I do my review, you guys are going to see and actually I think you're actually going to really like it. Whoever is looking into a smaller safe, um, I think it's going to like this safe option. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm um, going to set up the camera a little bit different here and uh, give you guys a, a different point of view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top, work my way down and then uh, go to the inside. Okay, this safe usually is around $400. Um, I got a good deal on it because it was actually a floor model. It has a couple dings and scratches on it, but um, you know what? I got it for I think 280 was it, which is quite just almost 50% off. And I think that's a, that's a steal when it comes to this safe. So let me give you guys a quick view here of the pan down from the top down here. There you go and back up and then later I'm going to give you guys some dimensions on um, size and all alright so what I'm going to do next is going to set up the camera a different way and I'll be right back alright folks here we go this is the uh, top of the safe and um, I want to start off with giving you guys um, dimensions on the safe real quick so uh, let's see here 10 inches obviously by 10 inches and then the height of the safe will be oops, 54 inches so four and a half feet um, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty decent it's pretty tall but uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before it is it's supposed to accommodate a long a long gun and a handgun um, that's what the, this uh, advertisement on that safe is, and um, but I'm going to go into that in, in a little bit because I've changed some stuff around. Um, let's start on the top here. So the top has I'm starting on the back here has the uh, battery compartment for the uh, locking keys is back here, and no, it's not something like oh somebody can just take the batteries out and then you're screwed. Not really because if if the batteries should ever fail of the uh, uh, mechanism on the, on the, of the buttons should ever fail here um, there's always a key right here that will override it and you're good to go and so you can always open it with a key and it's not just a, a simple key it's actually a pretty decent key that's uh, hard to pick I, I would say personally okay so in the back we have the battery compartment um, going forward this is this uh, so the tray, which is kind of cool, it has the soft padding on it. It's like a neoprene kind of thing, um, which is actually great for, for example, putting on your everyday carry stuff. You know, you can put your knife, wallet, flashlight. Um, it fits right on it, and it's just good to go. And when you, uh, you know, go in the bed, you just leave it on here. And uh, when you um, wake up in the morning and put your stuff on. It's right on top of here, and it doesn't roll away because it's it's a little bit lowered, so it doesn't just fall right off. I think this is a great option. I put my stuff on here every night. Okay, so that's that little tray. We have the once again we have the uh, key for the override, uh, just in case something should happen. Okay, this is kind of interesting. These buttons they are not numbered. Um, this is the way to access the uh, 
the um, safe and let me give you a little demonstration of how they work and it's it's mainly muscle memory so it's something getting used to but you know what in the dark um, really nobody really pays attention to buttons unless it's all lit up at bright buttons and I think this is a great option so the way this works is you push any button once and they light up blue and then you put in your combination a green light comes up and um, the safe is open it's open it's good to go and guys don't get excited this is not my num this is not really the uh, this is the factory uh, setup the one two three four one that's the factory so don't get all excited Ooh, I'm gonna he, he just showed me his his uh, combination there so let me close this real quick again and it's fairly quiet and it's actually made to be really quiet the, the keys don't give any noise off um, you push up push one button and it lights up and um, just give you a demonstration if you put in the wrong key what happens is um, it just lights up red once and that's it uh, you have to wait a little bit to for it to reset and then you can you can try again I think it's a great option um, it advertises as being very quiet and it is very quiet however um, when you hear the mechanism the door opening you can kind of hear it you just heard it on camera and um, obviously moving the handle also makes some sort of noise however it's, just, it's a great option I think so once you get the muscle memory down this should be a quick access okay so we went over the top we went over the dimensions um, what I'm going to do next is obviously going to set up my camera different a little bit here and I'll be back and we're going to talk a little bit about the outside and then we'll go right into the inside okay so I'll be right back alright guys the uh, safe is open um, give you guys a little view on the inside the way I have it set up and a um, little bit different than what the factory setup is supposed to be but uh, I'll show you guys in just a second so let me just pan on down and give you guys a full view real quick here once again it accommodates a long a long gun, shotgun, or AR, any sort of rifle. And going on back up, and I'm gonna stop right there. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is just zoom in um, and once again go over the different sections inside the safe um, from the top to the bottom. So let me zoom on in here real quick. Okay. That should be good there, and um, I'm gonna walk around real quick here and um, start talking about the inside of the safe. So give me just a second. This might make some noise here because I gotta move this microphone around. So bear with me. All right, all right. So here we go. Um, I have two handguns laying right here on this shelf. Um, this shelf is removable. You can lower it and raise it. You know. That's what these slots are here for. Um, I don't know why you would want to lower or raise this, but um, I have two handguns laying on, on this shelf. And let me show you guys the factory setup, the way it's supposed to be. So let me take these out real quick and put them over here. The way the uh, factory has it, it comes with this little divider here in the middle which can be set this way and it leans a little bit to the left or it can set, be set the other way it leans a little bit to the right and supposedly this is good for having the uh, having the handgun sit in an upright position so you can um, you know so you can access the firearm at night faster and uh, have it ready faster speed up the, pro uh, the, the process but personally I think um, if you grab it this way and as you can tell it it makes noise so I don't see really the point of it if you grab it that way or if you grab the handgun when it's laying flat I don't see a big difference so I decided to just take this this part out and um, put down two handguns you know just make more use of the uh, space I thought this was a better option in my book Okay, so that's the, the upper shelf here. Um, 
let's talk a little bit more about um, let's talk about the hinges. Suppose on the website it says the hinges are specially made to be very quiet, and um, I have to admit they are pretty quiet. Um, one thing I really like about this is the um, is the door. Um, the, the door is made to when it closes when when the door is closed the um, the front part of the door is, is bent in an angle so when it closes it closes inside the safe so they made it in a way that it's tough for a pry bar or anything to go in here and pry the door open because the uh, the lip of the door is hidden within the inside of the safe I thought that was a great idea um, just another layer of security I guess uh, let's see here I'm gonna show you guys actually I'm gonna rearrange the camera a little bit and I'll show you guys the uh, one inch thick bolt that comes out of the uh, top and the bottom of the um, of the door to, to lock this uh, in, into place so it's not one of those flimsy you know one of these stack ons or so they're pretty flimsy and, and, and you know it feels like when you drop them on the floor they're gonna break wide open no this is this feels very sturdy the, the metal is thick this feels like a really good safe um, on the on the rear it has two connections to bolt it to the wall which I'm gonna probably do I have metal studs in this condo and I think just one of them is enough to hold the safe into place all right so let's move on Let's talk more about the inside of the safe here. Um, the fabric, the, in the, the lining on the inside, um, it feels a little cheap, but I believe this is, it's a great option because um, you don't need no uh, cashmere rug or some sort of thing, 100% um, wool or silk or whatnot. It doesn't matter what's on the inside here. This, it's, it, it's good. It looks good. It looks clean, and that all that matters, right? It has to hold your guns, and that's the main purpose of the safe. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move the camera around just a little bit so we can talk more about the lower part of the safe. So I'll be right back. All right. So here's the uh, second shelf in, on the inside here. Um, I have a spare mag sitting here for my everyday carrier. I just laid it here in the corner. Just you know, might as well make use of the uh, space. Okay, so this is the shelf that holds the uh, long gun in place, the rifle, long gun, whatnot. And um, it's pretty cool. It's, it has the shelf. It has these uh, three padded wheels on the inside here, and pretty much that is what holds your rifle up upright. And um, the way you remove the rifle is just pull it out. And as you guys can tell, the wheels turn and you just can pull the rifle on out. Um, you can adjust this. You can adjust them forward or to the rear or to the front. Even sideways a little bit as you can, as you can see. So just to accommodate different size of rifles or whichever way you want to have them sit inside the uh, safe. If you want to have them further to the rear or to the front. Uh, but let me put this back in here and it's fairly easy. You just push it forward and it slides right in. And the uh, shelf is removable and you can raise it too in case you have a longer rifle or a shorter. I, I had to put mine to the lower setting because my rifle is pretty short. So um, it's great. The adjustability is great on this. Um, let me talk, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna talk a little bit more about um, my setup here before I start uh, talking about uh, an idea I have and different ideas from the internet because some folks they have they have some great options for the safe to make more use of the space but I'm gonna touch that touch, touch up on that uh, in just a little bit here all right so let me let me see if I can just adjust the uh, the camera just a little bit here, give you a different view. Um, I want to show you guys this view because um, I hope you guys can see this here. 
Um, I have a 25 round mag on here and um, it barely fits. So um, you have to pretty much put it all the way into the uh, corner to make sure that the, uh, the rifle fits. However, the safe does close and um, if you were worried about that, it, uh, it fits a 25 round magazine. Um, on top of that, I have a scope on here that, let me see if I can lower this camera just a little t tad more here. Um, I have a scope on here um, that sticks out even further. So even with the scope on, it still uh, it still fits. It still closed, and that, 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 that's the main purpose here, making sure it fits. Um, all right, let's um, rearrange the camera just a tap more, and I'm going to show you guys the uh, bottom of the safe, which is actually pretty cool as well. Okay, here we have the uh, the uh, bottom of the safe, which is um, there's another great feature on the safe. So let me take the rifle out, put that aside here, and uh, down here I have another Glock stacked in the corner here. Um, see, I'm trying to make use of the space as much as I can. Um, so I have my Glock sitting on the bottom here. Let me move the microphone quick too here. Okay, so um, I have a Glock and a spare magazine right here. Take that and put them aside here. And the bottom is pretty cool because it has this uh, hidden compartment which fits uh, spare ammo. Um, magazines, whatnot. I have a, a Ruger LCP inside, which is small enough to fit inside, and I have um, some other magazines in here. And there's still some more room for some additional, some additional ammo. So that's just a pretty cool feature to have, to where you can uh, store some ammo, um, some magazines. People put ammo in there. Um, I didn't want to put any ammo boxes in here because, uh, you know, it's ammo. So um, I, I, I think a better use is to load up some magazines and put them in there. Anyhow, so that that's a pretty another cool, a pretty cool feature I think. So if you have some expensive items, watches or some that kind of stuff, you can also put that in there. Um, however, I'm, the way I make use of this is. Um, I put my Glock on here, put the spare magazine on the other side and, and we're good to go. Alright, I hope I didn't, I didn't forget anything. What I'm going to do is now is going to zoom out one more time and um, talk about some other things that are great on the safe. Um, some great little options here. Uh, let me move this mic one more time. All right. Um, I want to talk more about the uh, rifle portion of the, the safe here. At first I thought that um, one long gun that's kind of a waste of space inside the condo to, to add just a safe for one long gun. Um, but there's some folks on YouTube and on the internet that actually what they did is, um, let me zoom in real quick here. They actually removed this shelf totally. Um, they added some velcro on the bottom of the top shelf and you can buy these you can buy these uh, rifle rods that stick on the velcro and they go actually inside the barrel and they will hold your rifle um, straight up and um, using that method they actually um, were able to fit I believe five long guns four or five long guns in this uh, safe, which is quite a lot. And I'm thinking of doing the same thing once I get more um, long guns um, to put four or five in there. And, um, you know, it's a small safe. It fits in the corner and fits four long guns. Uh, it's great, I think. Um, but for now, I only have this one. So that's, that's just plenty enough. So I'm going to use it 
this way but um, just to let you guys know there is a way of adding more than just one um, rifle in here just as you guys can tell I, I, I fit what there's like four um, handguns in the safe already and I could probably add a few more if I wanted to so there's always options to change stuff around and um, make stuff fit just a tad better um, what I did is also let me zoom on to the bolt that holds this door shut there you go it's the uh, it's a one inch bolt and that same bolt is on the bottom of the door and it will hold this door shut so just to show you guys that the locking mechanism is pretty pretty strong with that being said I hope I didn't miss anything um, once again you can always um, get, add some questions underneath the video and ask me and I will see if I can um, answer them but with that being said T9 signing out I hope you guys like this review please uh, subscribe and I promise there will be more videos like this